Welcome back. Walking to raise awareness and fund research to end pancreatic cancer. This weekend, the Les Gatton Foundation's Walk for Research takes place in West Palm Beach. And joining me here is pancreatic survivor and advocate Eric Borden. Thank you so much for, for coming back and talking to us about Thank this you. important cause. For people who maybe aren't familiar with the foundation, can you tell us about it? Sure. The Les Garden Foundation started in 1998, and they are the largest independent funder for pancreatic cancer research. Um, they have walks and efforts throughout the entire country, other parts of the world too. Um, and 100% uh, of all donations goes directly to pancreatic cancer research. Uh, the walk, uh, the, the foundation was started uh, uh, due to the uh, uh, demise of Mark Lusgarden, who was a, an executive at Cablevision, and Cablevision then started the Lusgarden Foundation in his honor to raise money for pancreatic cancer research. Eric, I know that this is a foundation that is very near and dear to your heart. You yes. yourself are a pancreatic cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your story. Um, in uh, uh, a number of years ago, a friend of mine passed away from pancreatic cancer, and I got involved with Lust Garden up in the Philadelphia area, and uh, where I was living at the time. And in 2017, lo and behold, I was diagnosed with pancreatic mm -hmm. cancer and underwent successful Whipple surgery at Johns Hopkins University, got treated at the Lynn Cancer Institute here for all my ke uh, chemotherapy. And I'm going on seven years amazing. of survival, which is, is amazing because only 13% yes. of us survive five years. Yeah. And that, when I, when I was diagnosed, it was seven years. But now with all of the research and uh, the dedicated labs that are working so hard to find uh, new treatments and fund clinical trials and do all the things to try to increase that 13% thir that exponentially, um, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's just, you know, we're making baby steps. Yeah, but definitely progress needs to needs to be made. My father-in-law passed away mm -hmm. from pancreatic cancer. Um, talk to us a little bit about just the symptoms that people should be aware of if anyone is is watching at home. The, one of the one of the problems with with diagnosing pancreatic cancer is a lot of the symptoms are masked by other diseases. Mm -hmm. uh, severe stomach pain, um, uh, yellowing of the skin and, and the eyes, uh, you know, jaundice. Uh, onset diabetes is another one. Pain in your back. Uh, and, and, a, and a host of other potential symptoms. Which sometimes so, you could think is just, you know, hey, just your body ache. is, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. I have mm -hmm. a, you know, just, uh, did, what did I do to my back, you know? Or I have a real bad stomach ache. Well, you know, and then a lot of the physicians will say, take two Tums, call right. me in the morning. Um, and it's really incumbent upon everybody, should they have any of the symptoms, which can be found on the Lust Garden website, uh, you know, a whole list of the symptoms, to question your medical, uh, your, your medical, uh, uh, physician, mm -hmm. that you know maybe it does have something to do with the pancreas. So please don't ignore that, because again, like I said, oftentimes uh, the symptoms will be masked by other by other diseases. Eric, thank you so much for sharing your story and also for telling us more about the Les Garden Foundation. If you want more information on the walk and how you can help, you can head to our website right now, wpbf.com. Go ahead and click on Walk to End Pancreatic Cancer. All right.